Welcome to the GBPN tool for building energy performance scenarios. This tutorial will guide you through the functionality of this interactive tool. The tool presents three different energy scenarios that illustrate the level of savings that can be achieved depending on the ambitiousness of policy decisions and technology choices. The scenarios include deep, moderate and frozen. So how do we use the tool? In the About area, you can find details of each section of the tool and navigate to those sections using the info boxes. You can also use the interactive map, which gives you an overview of the total thermal energy use per region and for the world, according to the deep and moderate efficiency scenarios. Just click on the region of interest to you to see the related projections. To see the results for the world, Click on the world icon on the left side of the map. Moving on to the second tab. Using this module, you can conduct your own analysis and generate charts and tables by selecting parameters relating to your search needs. To do this, just follow the six steps. Let's have a go. First, select the type of output you would like to create. You can select a pie chart, bar chart, area chart, or table. Here we will select an area chart. In step two, select a parameter to determine your output. You can select only one parameter here and multiple subcategories within the parameter. Here we will select building types and the sub-parameter all building types, meaning that the results for urban and rural areas will be aggregated. Let's choose, for example, the following building types. Multifamily, single family and office buildings. The live preview illustrates this selection. In step 3, select the time series of interest to you. In the case of a pie chart, only one time period can be selected. For other chart types, you can specify the start and end year and also specify the time intervals relevant to you. Let's select 2010 as the start of year and leave 2050 for the end year. In step 4, you need to provide more specific characteristics of the output you want to create. First select the regions. You can tick as many as you want, but bear in mind that a separate chart will be created for every region. Let's select Western Europe and South Asia. In the scenario section, let's select moderate and deep scenarios. In the end use section, you have three choices. Total thermal energy use is the sum of the other two options, so let's select it. And total for all vintages in the vintage section. Under preview, you can see that we will get four charts in the output. Let's name our output test one. And click submit to get the chart. On this page, you can provide feedback using this icon. You can also print your charts or download them in PDF, CSV or RDF formats. Let's move on to the third tab. Here you can access the input data behind the three possible energy scenarios presented in the tool. It's possible to download each of these data series in HTML, PDF and CSV formats. Provides detailed information about the methodology behind the work. Scroll down to find out more about the modeling approach, the scenarios, the geographical scope, the climate classifications, building types, and calculation methodologies. Finally, in the fifth tab in the Data API area, developers can find information on how to access and use data contained in the tool as linked open data. Now over to you to conduct your own research. Thanks for listening and have fun with the tool.